but the water companies cannot escape their central share of the blame. <coughs> their failure to invest sufficiently in reducing these outflows has come at the same time as they have paid eye-watering sums uh, in pay and bonuses to their senior executives. Anglian Water, responsible for 21,351 spills lasting a total of, 1,900, uh, one, of 194,594 hours in 2021, provided a total remuneration package to their chief executive of over £2 million, nearly 100 times the pay of one of Anglian Water's meter technicians. Northumbrian Water, responsible for 220,560 thousand uh, sixty hours of discharges provided more modest remuneration at a mere six hundred and twenty eight thousand pounds but still over twenty times the starting salary of one of their wastewater production operators seven trent responsible for four hundred and sixty one thousand one hundred and thirty five hours of discharges provided remuneration of over two point eight million to their CEO, again, over 100 times the starting salary of one of their water treatment operatives. Southern Water, 160,984 hours of discharges, remuneration to CEO, over £1 million. Southwest Water, 351,875 hours of discharges, remuneration to CEO, 863,000. Thames Water, 163 hours of discharges, remuneration to CEO 1.2 million. United Utilities, responsible for 540,000 hours of discharges, including that 5,000 hour spill at Morecambe, remuneration to CEO 2.9 million pounds, 112 times the pay of one of their process operators. Wessex Water, 151,258 hours of discharges, CEO remuneration £520,000. And finally, Yorkshire Water, 406,000 hours of discharges, total remuneration for the CEO over £1.3 million. In total, my Lords, water company executives paid themselves nearly £27 million in bonuses over the past two years while pumping sewage into waterways 1,000 times a day.